happy saturday and welcome to a new vlog i just came back from costco don't mind the noise in the background my boyfriend is cutting up some chicken because we're gonna make chicken soup there's actually a snowstorm happening outside so we went to costco to get groceries and we ended up spending time with my mom and grandma now we're back home and i'm ready to relax so once i put these groceries away i'm gonna sit on my couch watch some movies and go to sleep it was a big mistake to be out in the snow i don't like being out when it's like raining or snowing anyways i got some eggs baby spinach blueberries grapes kiwis corn oh you're gonna need this for the soup right mm -hmm. a pineapple some potatoes these are really cute little potatoes they look so tiny and quaint avocado i pray that these avocados don't go bad anytime i get avocados i'll eat like two maybe three if i'm lucky and then the rest will go bad especially if i put them in the fridge like they'll still get brown and kind of hollow when i open it it's weird so if you have any tips for preserving avocados let me know down below i got some brussels sprouts i've been really enjoying brussels sprouts and i make mine really simple i just add salt pepper and nutritional yeast which kind of makes it taste really cheesy these granola bars are yours mm -hmm. have you tried that before no but that's still healthy right there anything chocolate brownie and chocolate chip cookie dough yeah shoto yuka huh shoto yuka oh it said that yeah I don't think I would like it because I don't like chocolate. I don't really like chocolate, man. He got these liquid IVs that taste really good. These are golden sherry and strawberries. But y'all know I told you in my previous vlog that I'm doing a no sugar challenge for myself. I got these ones that are sugar free. I actually tried it already. I have one in here and I really like it. It kind of reminds me of the Water Boy. Um, what was it? It's like a exercise thing. Exercise recovery. Yeah. Athletic recovery. It reminds me of the Waterboy Athletic Recovery Packs. That like lime flavor. Um, but yeah, this one is sugar free. I don't mind it. I would actually keep purchasing this one for the future because I'm trying to not be such a sugar addict. Like so. <laughs> you don't want to try for real? You've tried the sugar free one? I think so. I don't think so. Sugar free. I also got this raw unfiltered honey. I got this last time and it lasted me a long time. Like more than three months, right? It lasts me a while. I got a huge container of vinegar because we wash our proteins with this, like our chicken and fish and stuff. Last time I bought one of these was also summertime, so these last forever. And I also use this to wash my humidifier after I use it like three times or something. I'll wash it off with that and my face steamer as well because it gets rid of like the mold and stuff. So yeah, this is very multi-purpose. I got two oat milks because I run out of this so fast. Like when I buy just the carton, I have to buy one like every week. I also got some Greek yogurt. And y'all, we found pastel de nata. Can you believe this? We've been trying to find the ones at Trader Joe's. I want to say since the summertime, and I think they either got discontinued or they're seasonal. So when we saw this, we were super hyped. I know I was. Um, I think we're going to have this. As, actually, I can't even have this because it has wheat. We got some unsalted butter. It came in a pack of four, so I know this is going to last us. Got some coconut milk because we also run out of this a lot. And I also got this pack of chicken stock it has six and it was only ten dollars so i thought that was a really good deal we're going to use this for the chicken right you want what one and that is my costco grocery haul we're going to make this soup or he's gonna make this soup and i might be sous chef or i might not i might just put this away go take a shower and relax so
Monday. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm fake excited for Monday, but good morning. Happy Monday. Hope you're all doing well. So y'all, in my previous clips, you saw that I was getting ready for like a snowstorm we were supposed to have. Technically, the snowstorm was supposed to be on Sunday. So on Saturday, I went to Costco and like was prepping and buying groceries to weather out the storm from home and not have to go out y'all it didn't snow at all on sunday like at all and everybody was hyping up this snowstorm everybody and their mother even my own mother <laughs> was hyping up a snowstorm that ended up not happening at all like it rained but there was no snow in sight however it did snow on saturday and there was no chatter of snow for saturday so the day that I actually went to Costco to prep for the snowstorm was when it actually snowed and not even on Sunday that was the actual snow day. Regardless, I'm happy I went to Costco and stocked up on groceries because now I am filming a what I eat in a day for y'all, which I will link right here in the eye if it's up before this vlog. We ended up making a soup and just relaxing at home. I'm glad I went to Costco though and did my groceries because now I have a fridge stocked with food healthy food so that i am keeping up with my goals and not eating stuff that i'm not supposed to be eating anyways i am now going to arrange some flowers i got some roses from trader joe's we are back to buying ourselves flowers i haven't bought flowers for myself in a long time but i saw some really pretty roses at trader joe's and i just had to get them and i also got baby's breath as well i love white roses that's like my favorite type of flower i'm actually working from home today and i'm going to the office tomorrow i gotta take these braids out soon and i think i'm gonna record it for y'all and show you all a diy hair growth oil that i made this year i really want to focus on growing out my hair and not wearing my hair in a ponytail so damn much. <laughs> I am just so lazy when it comes to my hair, y'all. I am the worst. Like, if I have a hair fail, like if my wash and go doesn't come out right or my braid out, I just put it up in a ponytail and forget about it and not want to do it again for like another week. But this year, I really want to wear my hair out more and like do more scalp massages and more DIY treatments. I really want to follow the Indian Ayurveda hair care regimen. So using Amla powder and Bangraj as well. I actually have both here at home and I've been looking up all the natural hair girlies that follow the Ayurvedic hair care regimens and getting tips and tricks from them on YouTube. Anyways, <laughs> let's arrange these flowers.
happy Tuesday. Y'all, my body is so incredibly sore from yesterday's workout. Anytime I go to sit down, my legs are on fire. <laughs> I think it's because I really pushed myself with yesterday's workout, so I started feeling sore last night. So I ended up taking some of my Extreme Endurance supplements last night to help with the soreness. And I'm going to take another three this morning. I do want to keep training less this week, and unless I take some of these supplements, it's not going to happen. This helps reduce lactic acid, which in turn helps reduce soreness. I like taking this when I feel very, very, very sore to the point that I can't train a particular muscle group anymore usually within like two days it'll take most of the soreness away so i think i can't be back to training legs again tomorrow but i have my foam roller here so i'm gonna do like about 10 minutes of foam rolling <laughs> actually really did help ease my soreness I am still very much sore but I woke up feeling very tight so it did help a little bit when I was foam rolling my quads though I was in so much pain that was really painful because I think my quads are even more sore than my hamstrings it was a struggle but hopefully the extreme endurance will help as well so that I can feel back to normal tomorrow and keep going with my workouts because I actually wanted to go to the gym today but as soon as I got out of bed I was in so much pain that I told myself to just take a rest day. Rest days are very important and they're a part of your workout regimen like if you're not taking enough rest days you're doing it wrong because when you're incredibly sore your muscles need time to recover before you can keep going. I was gonna work on upper body at the gym today though. Anyways, y'all, let's go to work. I'll catch up with y'all when I'm back home. 
I don't even want to go outside right now. I don't know if you hear the wind, but it's super windy outside and it's raining and it's just great and gloomy. So it's definitely not the most ideal day for me to be outside. But duty calls. <laughs> rainy days in NYC is how desolate the streets are because everybody is like inside their home and not outside but aside from that I wish I was home right now blowing my umbrella in like the opposite direction that happened to me like three times today was definitely not the best day to leave my house but i'm just happy to be back i ended up stopping by muji and picked up some goodies i love their pens from there i don't remember who got me a ton of pens from there i think it was my friend janet she got me like different colors a while ago i want to say like over two years ago but i ended up using all of them and I picked up some more. This pack brings 10 pens and they are just all different colors. I like using these type of pens for like journaling or to use on my planner or even my daily to-do list because they just bring a lot of excitement to the paper <laughs> since they're so colorful. Also picked up these two wired notebooks. They're in the black color, which is pretty nice. I also got some fragrances from Dossier. Dossier is a fragrance brand that makes designer dupes, essentially. So you can get pretty much anything from Gucci, Baccarat, Dior, YSL, Chanel. Pretty much any designer brand at a quarter of the price and they smell just like the originals. They sent me two different fragrances. I have Amber Saffron here, which is inspired by Baccarat Rouge 540, which the girlies are always raving about. I've actually never smelled the original fragrance, but from everything I hear on social media, it's like the best thing since sliced bread. So let's see what this is talking about. Y'all, that smells so good. I am in love. Literally, it's like love at first smell. <laughs> it's very subtle and soft, but powerful, which I never thought that could be a thing, but that's the best way to describe this perfume. I love it. This smells so elegant and expensive, like you're walking into a room and you smell like money. <laughs> it literally smells like expensive cotton candy with some woody notes. So soft and subtle and clean and elegant, just freaking amazing. I believe the hype now, like the girlies were right. If this dupe can smell so good, I now understand why this perfume is so talked about, so definitely check this out i think this is gonna be like my favorite perfume that i currently own yeah i love it the only perfume that ever made me feel like this was the joe malone velvet rose and oud i fell in love with that the second i smelled it and same thing with this ambery saffron it's just chef's kiss you need it in your life 
They also sent me Floral Marshmallow, which is inspired by Killian's Love Don't Be Shy, which is the scent that Rihanna wears. So let's see what this is talking about. Mm, I like this one too. This one is a lot sweeter than Ambery Saffron. The top note on it is marshmallow, so that already tells you that it's a sweet fragrance. It smells like a sweet dessert to me. Definitely smell the marshmallow on this. But it's definitely not overpowering. It's more of like a subtle sweet scent. I'm super excited to wear these and see the wearability and the durability on my skin. If you're looking for designer fragrances at a fraction of the cost, make sure you check out Dossier down in my description box. I am obsessed with Ambery Saffron. Like, wow. outside but i had to go out the one thing they don't tell you about having a dog and living in a new york city apartment is you have to go outside in all sorts of weather rain snow forest fire smoke anything and everything you still have to go out there so that was a little bit crazy even though we were literally only outside for like five minutes it felt like an eternity but i'm grateful to be back inside my apartment i'm going to close out this video here comment a rain emoji if you made it to the end thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one <laughs>